Welcome back to the Techmoto channel. In this episode, we will be looking at how to program Jarvis to send and receive commands to Philips Hue devices. You will be able to turn on and off lights around your home, receive data from sensors such as temperature, motion, and light levels. My user has agreed to give you a quick demo of the functionality. No problem, Jarvis. So um, my Hue lights are controlled by uh, Hue light switches, so I can turn them on and off using the light switch. I can also use Alexa, and um, all of my light bulbs are controlled by Hue. So they all go on and off with the switches. Um, but I'm gonna show you an example of how to use Jarvis. Hey, Jarvis. Yes, sir. Turn off office lights. Off they go. Hey Jarvis. Yes, sir. Turn on office lights. Office lights are now on. Hey Jarvis. Yes, sir. Run sequence of lights. Sequencing lights now. Thank you. So let's get started. The first thing you will need to do is install the Philips Hue library for Python. If you are unsure how to do this, you can refresh your memory using the link above. The library we are going to install is PQ. So jump to your command prompt and type pip install PQ. Once this is installed, we will need to start a new program in our Atomi DE. I will save this as hue.py. We can then call on the library that we just installed by typing from p q import bridge. Take note of the capital B in bridge. The hue bridge is the gateway between your hue devices and the internet. We need to write a short piece of code to give permission for Jarvis to call on its functionality. We only need to run this code once for each computer that runs the Jarvis code. Before you can do this, you will need to know the IP address of your Hue bridge. You can find this by opening the Philips Hue app on your mobile device. Click on Settings. Then click on Hue Bridges. Select your Hue bridge by clicking on the I symbol to the right of the screen. The IP will be shown here. Take a note of this for later. On your Atom program, add the following lines of code. Lowercase b equals bridge, note the capital b on bridge. Open parenthesis and then put in your hue bridge i p address close parenthesis. I am showing a made up one so that you cannot access my system. Then you simply add on the next line lowercase b full stop connect and then open and close parenthesis. Before you run this code, press the button in the middle of your hue bridge. You then have around 30 seconds to run the code. You should get a message saying your code has run with no error messages. This means your bridge now gives permission to your computer to control it. You can now delete the line B full stop connect. This is no longer needed. My user just comments it out in case he needs to install me on another computer in the future. A reminder. Step 2 is to find out your unique Philips Hue identification number. This can be done in the Philips Hue debug online. You can access this by opening your browser and typing http colon backslash your Hue bridge IP address forward slash debug forward slash clip full stop h t m L. This will open this useful developer's tool. To obtain your unique username, type forward slash a p i forward slash in the URL box, then copy this line into the message body box. Click the button on the Hue bridge, then click on post. Copy the username that comes up and paste it into a text editor. My user posts it into Atom and comments it out. That way it is useful later, and easy to access. You now have everything you need to program Jarvis, to control your automation. 
Now, let's find out what devices you have, and their ID numbers. Type, forward slash, API, forward slash, then paste in your unique ID number, forward slash, lights, into the, URL, box. Press the, get, button. You will see a list of every device you have attached to the Philips Hue. As you scroll through the code, you can see what ID number is assigned to each device. Make a note of these for later. Now we have the device, ID, numbers, we can write a program in Python, to control them. Open up Atom again. Let's write a simple piece of code, to turn on 5 hue lights, in a sequence, with a delay between them. We already have the library set up and the, I, P, address connected, from our previous piece of code. All you need to do now is to call a light ID, tell it that, on, is true, and the light will come on, when you run the program. Be careful to use a capital, T, on the word, true. To turn that light off again, simply replace the word, true, with, false. Make sure you use a capital, F, for false. To now turn on 5 lights, simply add 4 more lines, changing the device, I, D. When you run this all 5 lights, will come on at the same time. To make a sequence, with a delay, simply add your time library at the top of your program, then add a simple sleep line of code, in between the commands. You can do the same with the off command. If you put this in a while loop, the lights will continue to cycle. Remembering to indent your code, under the while statement. So, all you need to do now, is add that line of code as a response to a voice command. If you are unsure how to do this, then this link will take you to a video on that topic, and I have also put this in the description below. If you want to control sensors, it is much the same process. In the debug software, just change the word, lights, to sensors, to get the ID of the sensor you require. There will be a separate video on this, as it is slightly more complex, and requires threading, your Python code, to allow the sensors to always be alive. Thank you for watching, I hope this has been useful. If it has, please do like this video, subscribe, tell your friends and help us build this channel. The more views we get, the more videos we post. Have a great day. See you soon. Cheerio.